Welcome to 5 Minute School. The last video was focused on what is bile. This video we're going to look at what are bile acids. So what we can see here in this image below, this is the basic structure of a bile acid. So they are acids which contain about 24 carbons with 2 to 3 hydroxyl groups and a side chain which ends with a carboxyl group. So this is the 24 carbon chain and we can see we have a um, 2 to 3 hydroxyl groups here so you can see the OH here, the OH here and there's another one here and we can also see a side chain which ends with a with a carboxyl group which is here this is an example of cholic acid which is a bile acid so we have three uh, hydroxyl groups here and a side chain which ends in a carboxyl group this is the basic requirements of a bile acid and bile acids are ampi amphipathic so their hydroxyl groups lie below the plane of rings so this is an alpha orientation and their methyl groups lie above the plane of the ring which is beta orientation so the alpha orientation means that the hydroxyl groups will lie below the plane of the ring and the methyl groups lie above the plane of the ring which is beta orientation and what this means is the arrangement therefore results in the bile acid molecules having a polar and nonpolar face so because of this they can act as emulsifying agents in the intestine by the preparation of dietary dietary triglycerides and lipids to be degraded by pancreatic digestive enzymes so following on from this we're going to look at the synthesis of bile acids so they are synthesized in the liver and the process of bile acid synthesis has multiple steps and involves multiple organelles the pathway involves hydroxyl groups being inserted at different positions on a cholesterol molecule and this leads to a cholesterol B ring being reduced and then the hydrocarbon chain is shortened by three carbons with a carboxyl group added at the end of the chain so at the end of the chain so this is pre pretty much the structure we discussed here and that's the aim to produce this kind of structure so the most common resulting bile acids are cholic acid and kinodeoxycholic acid and these are both primary bile acids and finally we have an equation here to show how cholic acid is produced so we have a cholesterol here and cholic acid is produced the enzyme is cholesterol 7 alpha hydroxylase and one thing to note is this forms a sort of negative feedback loop because if we have high amounts of cholic acid then this inhibits further cholic acid being produced so that's what we're going to discuss in this video the next video following on from this will be looking at bile salts um, i hope this video has been useful and thanks very much for watching